I'm going to share with you how are you going to learn menstruation in the way to overcome two problems that a lot of students are facing. First, coming to secondary school, there are a lot of formulas to memorize and yet they are unable to memorize everything and definitely there's one or two formulas they will definitely forgotten. Second, even though they are able to memorize very well and know every single formula but yet they are they are unable to apply during the test or examination question. So how are you to learn in the way to overcome such problems? Let me share with you with this Philomax triangle link and this Philomax triangle link is extracted the idea from Philomax Apple Story. To know more about Philomax Apple Story, you may come either Saturday or Sunday to have a casual talk with me and from there I will tell you even much more. Okay. This triangle link it will be able to show you how every part is related to each other and focus the main part to learn. Okay. But first of all, you must understand that a dot to a dot which form a line and inside so called the line there is a lot of dots. When there's a lot of dot joining together, there's a lot of dot joining together, they actually form a line. Okay. So in perimeter, it's talking about when a person walk horizontally from one point to one point horizontally. Okay. And the person also can walk upward or downward to form another line which form a 90 degree you see look at your hand we can go left and right and we also can go up and down okay so this is why we can form a rectangle and perimeter is simply talking about the outline of a particular shape outline of a particular shape that is why cm plus cm plus cm plus cm just plus everything that is the outline and therefore the unit is still in cm it's not just the unit is cm that is the reason why the unit is in cm get it now we talk about the area the longer part as we know is the length and the shorter part is called the breadth Longer part is length and the shorter part is breadth. For the area, we know that cm times cm is a 2D. So cm times cm, it gives you cm square. cm times cm, it gives you cm square. Therefore, the area units in cm square. Therefore, we can base on the formula itself. We know that this for particular formula is for area or for volume. Or perhaps it's for perimeter. We can see it. Okay. Cm times cm. Cm squared. Area simply is a 2D. What is exactly 2D? It's totally related to us. Our shadow is 2D. Okay. Our shadow is 2D. So you can see that how perimeter is related to area. And how area is related to volume. Okay, so look at this part. This is a rectangle. I put out another rectangle. See that? I put out another rectangle. I put out another rectangle. I put out more and more rectangle below. As I put more and more rectangle below, there is something being created that is the height. Therefore, area times height, it will give you volume. Cm square times Cm, of course, it will give you Cm cube. Therefore, volume is in Cm cube. What exactly is volume? Very simple. Your shadow is area, 2D. You yourself is 3D, volume. Simple. As far as you know how to relate what you have done to yourself, 
you will definitely get a better understanding. See you on the next video clip. Thank you.